I can't see your eyes. Yeah, not to see me. Hello, everyone. I am, can you see me now? Yes, I can see you. <laughs> Hi, I am attempting to go live via YouTube and Facebook. So this is Becky with iHeartArt Studios. <laughs> am I okay? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of control over my computer where I'm live for YouTube. So I'm kind of hunched down like this. But thank you for joining me. I am going to be attempting to do a paint pour. Thank you, Heather, for sending me this idea. It is a paint pour with a spider web uh, from the dollar store, and it makes this really cool design. I was going to do a practice one, and then I thought I should just do it for you so you can see it. So I'm going to be doing a paint pour with the spider web on the canvas, and then underneath the canvas, I have a turntable that I can spin. So thank you so much for joining me. If this is, if you're joining me, please say hello. I'd love to know who's with me. I know it is a little bit early. I've got a big day today. My son is in the play at Lincoln High School. And so we've got some errands to run. He's doing schoolwork right now. So if you're home with your kids doing some virtual school, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, welcome to the world of you know, weird school time. So I'm going to be doing this paint pour. I uh, decided, um, so I'm kind of copying up the video that I saw on YouTube was Mixed Media Girl and I am inspired by her for, and I'll be trying this. I actually had found this in my basement and a customer sent me this video and said that she thought it was something that I would be interested in and I totally am. So I'm going to try this. If you're just joining me, I do have a YouTube live and I'm also on Facebook live. So I'm going to do my best to look at both of you and I'm going to be doing my pour here. So the colors I'll be using are black, orange, purple, yellow, and glow in the dark. <gasps> glow in the dark will be cool. And then I also made some more black just to help it flow. So that's kind of what I'll be doing. And I am, oh, I need to get a cup to put um, the paint in. So I have my canvas, square canvas. I have my spider web thing I got at the dollar store. And I have my turntable underneath. I'm just protecting myself from the mess. And I am also going to be trying out this new silicone. I usually use just like uh, when I watch YouTube videos, you know, I, I was recommended just to use like the silicone that comes in the uh, like automotive department kind of thing. So that's usually what I use. But I decided to try this unicorn art silicone. Uh, and so I'm curious to see exactly how this is going to work also. So I'm going to first I'm going to put some paint in my cup and then I'm going to pour it through the spider web to see what happens. So I think I'm pretty center on here. Um, I'm going to be using Halloween colors. So I'm just gonna, and I only made as little small bit. So hopefully this won't take too long. I'm just gonna stack the colors in here a little bit. Um, let's see here. Orange, purple, um, and I'm reusing these cups, so I apologize. There's like all this black stuff around them because I'm reusing them, so I do apologize for that. Um, glow in the dark. And then yellow. And these are some neon colors. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black in there. I don't want to do too much black, but a little bit of black. And then I'm going to do, okay, I think I did orange first. So stack some more orange. Uh, I did purple. It's perfect Halloween colors. Uh, okay, then the yellow and black. So, oh, I forgot to do the glow in the dark. So I'm gonna do some more glow in the dark here on the top. All right, so I filled my cup up. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to pour a little bit of, now this black, I ran out of flow because I, I brought some home, but I ran out. So this black, I wanted to keep the 
cup, the um, paint that is in the cup all the same. So I use Floetrol for that, but for this, I just use glue. Oh, I forgot to add the silicone. Oh, I'm gonna add the silicone in here. Before I do anything, let me add this. I'm sorry, it is morning and I wanted to do something later, but then I was like, my day is kind of getting away from me. So this is really pretty actually. Oh, I just moved myself. So I'm gonna zoom Facebook people down farther so you can see what's going on. You don't have to look at me. And I also, if you're joining me, I have a YouTube live stream also going just because I'm trying, you know. So I'm gonna put some of this, ooh, I don't, I don't even know how much you're supposed to put of this. This is new silicone I'm trying. Um, it's called Unicorn Art Magical Self-Forming uh, silicone. So I'm curious to see how it goes. All right. Um, I don't even have any popsicle sticks here. So I've been <laughs> using silverware and I'm just going to kind of do a little cross in here. I don't want to mix those colors too much. All right. Now, before I begin, I'm going to pour just a tiny little bit of black here at the bottom. So that way it will help it flow. And this is with the glue. All right. Oh, maybe I need more. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna just pour this in. I guess I could have poured that over. I don't know, I've never done this before, so I'm just trying it. Okay, I'm gonna pour this in. Maybe I shouldn't have done the black underneath. I have no idea. So I'm just pouring. I should have watched the video a couple more times to make sure I was doing things right. But I do see, oh well. It's all kind of going over the top. I'm not exactly sure what is going to happen here. We'll find out in just a moment. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming outside of the thing. And I do have more paint if I need to add more. You know what I should have done is I should not have put the paint under. I should have waited till I poured it and then I should have put the paint here. So I'm already learning that that's what I should have done. I think I'm going to pour a little bit more in here because I know I don't have enough to get all the way to the end of the canvas. And I just wanna use up what I've got because I made, I'm just wet. I'm also at home, so I don't have all my normal stuff here. So I'm just reusing old cups that I have and baby wipes cleaning them out, right? Okay, so, oh, Facebook, look at you, 19 people watching. Thanks for watching. I cannot even see my, if you're just joining me, I do have a YouTube live also happening over here from my computer, but I can't see any of that. So thank you if you're joining me on YouTube. I don't know, maybe you're, you are, okay. So this project was inspired because I had a customer send me a video that she had seen that a lady, um, her, her, she's mixed media girl and she had done this and I thought it was really cool. And so I want to try it myself. And I actually had the spider web from the dollar store. I had it, I purchased it last year. The colors I'm using are orange, purple, yellow, and glow in the dark. Glow in the dark is kind of a transparent. Whoa, can my cup, my cup almost overfloweth. Okay. Now I'm just gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna pour it like, actually maybe I should just kind of do some sort of swirling. Let's swirl it around and see what happens. Ooh, swirling, swirling. So there's probably gonna be a lot of waste with this just because there tends to be when you're paint pouring. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm slowly gonna lift this up and hopefully there'll be some of that shape. I maybe messed it up because I put that down first. I have no idea. Live and learn, it's a trial, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this. Oops, I should make sure I don't have anything in the way. You can kind of see those lines. Okay, I'm a little off center here. Oh, here, I have some extra black I'm gonna use to put around here just to help it flow. I feel like I'm centered, but I'm don't know why I'm not. It 
it is kind of cool. I feel like there's a lot of orange in there. Ooh, I'm gonna have it splatter out on me. I don't wanna lose too much of my designs, but I do have my torch here. So I'm gonna give it a little torching and see what happens. Now you can't really see the, um, let me see if I have any more of this stuff, the glow in the dark because it is kind of a clear transparent um, color. I just kind of wanted to get that to flow off there. Ooh, the table is very pretty also. Okay, so I'm going to grab my little torch, and see if I can get any cells to come out. Let me take this off. Okay, here we go with the fun part. Thank you so much for watching, if you guys are watching. And if you're just joining me, I do also, um, I have a YouTube live stream also happening. Ooh, I can see some of these cells, a lot of black. The one thing that I have definitely learned is that I should not have put the black down first. So that is definitely something I'm gonna have to retry without. So next time, maybe I'll try it without putting the black down first. And what this torch does is it helps to pull out those colors that are underneath. So I also used for the first time my, this is a new silicone that I'm trying. It is um, unicorn art. It's supposed to be magic, magical cell forming silicone. And I can see where the silicone is with these big spots here. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I usually use just like a cheaper silicone. Thanks so much for watching. Awesome. I do. I, if it didn't take so long, well, if I had more canvases here, I would try another one without putting the black underneath, but I feel like this is about as good as I'm going to get without doing too much tilting. I'm going to try spinning it just again to see if now, because some, I, the heat was able to pull out some of those cells, if I can get any more of those colors to come up. Okay, I just, I really wish I could see more of like the yellows and there's like hints of purple. The orange kind of took over, which kind of too bad. So I kind of wish I could see more, but it is still now, I, if I'd spin it too much more, I'm gonna lose that spider web shape. So, but I guess I just kind of wanted to try this out and I figured I would bring you along even if it was gonna be just a short little video. And I don't know, I feel bad because every time I'm live, uh, especially for my Facebook friends here, I am always doing paint court. I don't know, is that something that you enjoy watching? I know I do a lot. Um, I haven't gone live for a while, but then I seem to always, it's just an easy fallback thing for me. Uh, but if there's something else that you would like to see live, please let me know. Or like Heather, thank you Heather for sending me this idea to try. I always appreciate when customers kind of think of me when they see these cool little things out and about. And if you wanna see this work really well, you can also check out Mixed Media Girl. And I know she had done the video that I had seen that I wanted to try. And I, I think it's really cool and I think it will work very cool like hers if I wouldn't have put the black down first. So my next trial is I'm gonna try that. But thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Keep being creative, bye.